the workshop was about business ethics and sustainability. So it was basically starting from the idea that um, for industry or for business to be sustainable, we need to think about the ethical decision-making process that's inherent in the people that uh, compose the companies, and also about the, the ability to empathize with others. You know? So we looked first of all at the kind of uh, the relationships between things like morals, ethics, values, and sustainability and empathy. And then we started to clear up a few things because the first misconception people have about business ethics is that it's about making the right decision. It's actually not. There's no, you know, we're operating in a grey area apart from the law. We're in this area where things are maybe not necessarily right or wrong. What we're interested in business ethics is really looking at the decision making process, being aware of the way that we make judgments. So we looked at a couple of theories. We looked at um, Kohlberg's theory of moral development, about how um, when children are growing up and which stage they reach about you know, the, the basis on which they think something is right or wrong. Like when they're children, they'll think something is right or wrong because of, say, risk or reward, you know? It's right because somebody praises me. It's wrong because somebody punishes me. And then we go all the way up to the post-conventional phases where you've got completely beyond the law, you've got the Mandelas and the Martin Luther Kings who say, I don't care what the law says, this is simply wrong or right. And, and so we're looking at the, the different levels of, of moral operating. And I think more interestingly for these guys, we looked at rationalization. We looked at how when something happens, we're able to tell ourselves okay, um, the guy undercharged me for buying that product in the shop, but it's okay because it's a big company. They, they, they don't miss the money, you know. We tell ourselves all kinds of things to, to feel like we're good people and still have the ability to cheat just a little bit, you know. And we looked at how in companies, if you reduce the ability to rationalize through making systems less bureaucratic, through reminders and value systems and, and all kinds of different systems you can put in place to, to make it impossible to tell yourself something that is wrong tell yourself it's right then you're actually going to have a much more ethical system in place and then finally we looked at why that's so critical in the world we looked at how companies are operating in these moral vacuums outside international law and in liberal deregulated markets with enormous impacts on society and limited accountability and the only way that it's going to be um, sustainable for the future is if they self-regulate and they take it upon themselves to be good corporate citizens, to live, even though they're technically artificial people, companies, to actually assume the same responsibilities as people do. And that can only come through a complete shift in organizational and social cultures.